We all live in challenging times and our country is emerging as the site of perhaps the largest urban transition that will unfold over the next two to three decades. Today, cities are also poised with some of the advanced problems that knock at its doorstep, like the effects of climate change, global warming. And with the advent of COVID-19, this has a new meaning altogether. The crisis of pandemic is bringing to light many global and local issues. Our health and well-being as a society, our resilience as a, a local community, and the kinds of role we can collectively to play to make a difference in the given situation. Many facts and figures are being generated to guide the response to the global pandemic situation. And here is where data can help to make informed decisions. The real question is, how does this apply to built environment professionals like us, where a lot of what we do is got to do with qualitative design? Welcome to Desk Tech Challenge 2020. With Desk Tech Challenge, we have always tried to push the boundaries of how we can work with architecture students and introduce them to urban data and analytics. So this year, we would like to take you through the journey from creating your own data and translating that into your local design interventions. The theme for this year's competition is the importance of open spaces on our citizens and the health and well-being of our cities as well. So we are going to go through this journey in five different steps. Step one, all the participants of this competition will crowdsource data of open spaces and bring it together for nearly 30 plus cities. Step two, the Desk Tech Challenge team will then use this data to analyze and visualize it and it will be presented back to the participants. Step three, participants will use these visualization and analytics to derive insights to inform the local design interventions of open spaces within your own cities. Step four, the Desk Tech Challenge team will bring together all these visualizations, data and your efforts and attempt to link these to the UN Sustainable Development Goals. The outputs of these processes will then be visualized on an open source Desk Tech Healthy Cities platform. Through this platform, students will be able to benchmark how different set cities are performing against each other in the access to open spaces and quality of open spaces. And finally, step five, all the, all the participants of this challenge will be credited and recognized on the Desk Tech Healthy Cities platform. All the shortlisted entries and the winners will be showcased on this open source platform as a learning resource for the future. But as I said, this is not just a competition. This is a journey we will be taking together. We are encouraging participants right from the first year to the final year to be part of this challenge. And to bring you up to speed with the skills that might be required, we will be providing learning resources. The learning resources will be provided through an international digital platform called World Labs. World Labs is really renowned in bringing together communities and fostering innovation. So what can you expect out of these learning resources? We will provide pre-recorded tutorials of how you can crowdsource spatial data in different forms. You will also hear from experts on sustainable development goals. You will also get some training and understanding of how do you derive insight from visualizations and data. And finally, we will also be sharing some case studies, research materials throughout the process. If you really want to win this challenge, and the winners in the past will tell you that the ones who engage with the process, who are willing to share their ideas and work with other participants, do end up winning this challenge. So we're really excited and wait for you to bring out all your expertise and come together and make this whole design challenge a success. Thank you.